Friends, puzzle number four. So after a long wait of puzzle three, in which, if you recall, I promised you that I'll be back with a manipulation in that puzzle. Here I am. So let me recap the question. There are ten bags. Each bag has one thousand balls. Now, out of these ten bags, there are x bags in which each ball is of ten gram, and there are ten minus x bags. Rather than the remaining bags in which each ball is of 11 gram. So if you recall in puzzle three there were there was exactly one defective bag. Here there are x bags of 10 gram and 10 minus bags defective bag where each ball is of 11 gram. The question is again you have an electronic digital weighing balance in exactly one reading. You are supposed to tell me which all bags are of 10 gram level, level and which all bags are of 11 gram. You need to tell me the number of 10 gram bags as well as which ones. That's the question of puzzle number 4. Okay, let's look at the solution which I am sure most of you uh, must have tried to work out. Now, here also what we'll do is we will first number the bags. So these are bags, let's say bag number 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, 10. These are bags, I have numbered the bags. Now again we need to take out balls from these bags. Now the idea is, the last solution, if I take one ball from bag number 1, two balls from bag number 2, three balls from bag number 3 and so on, it will not work here. Why? Because let's say if I take in that order and the remaining, the difference between the reading of 550 gram is let's say 6 gram. If I get a reading of 556 gram this time, I will not be sure whether bag number 6 is the defective from where 6 balls have come or it can be bag 1 plus bag 5, bag 2 plus bag 4 and so on. So because this time it's a combination, there are many defective bags this time, not the exactly one as in the case of last cousin. So that solution won't work here. Some of my students in my batch, for I am, uh, you know, I prepare for CAT as I told you, some of my students suggested that we should take out one ball each from, uh, one ball each from each bag. Now if I take one ball each, one ball from here, one ball from here, one ball from here, one ball from here, the total I have taken out is 10 balls. So what their contention is, if we put on the electronic balance and if we see at the reading, let's say the reading is 104 gram. So we are sure that there are exactly 4 bags which are of 11 gram and the remaining 6 are of 10 gram. Now this is right, but then you will not be able to tell me which ones are those 4 bags of 11 gram label. Which ones? Is it 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 7, 8, 3, 4, 9, 10 and so on. So that funda won't also work here. So here, my dear friends, what we need to do is, we need to take out the balls in such a manner that the combination of adding them, you know, any two of them, any three of them, any four of them should all result in unique combinations. By that unique combination, we should be able to go backwards and find out from which bags did we take that balls from. And this is the property of GP, geometric progression. So what we will do is, we will take out one ball from bag number 1, 2 from bag number 2, 4 from bag number 3, the powers of 2, then 8, 16 and so on. So this is um, you know 2 raised to 9, 512, this is 256 and this is 128. So all these are powers of 2. So if we add all of these balls, you know, actually in a sense we have taken out 1023 balls. It's a property of powers of 2. If we add all the powers of 2, we get 1 less than the next power. So the, here the next power is 1024, 1 less is 1023. Okay, now what we do is, we put these 1023 balls in the pan. This is my pan. And this is the reading. If all the balls are of 10 gram, the reading which I should get is 10230. If all the balls are of 10 gram. But somewhere definitely there are 11 gram balls. So the reading which I will get is 
definitely more than 10230. Okay, so let's say the reading I get is 10260. This is my reading which I can see. So what you need to understand is how much is the difference? The difference is 30 gram. So what you need to understand by going backwards is which is the way, which is the combination by which 30 can come from these ball numbers, these number of balls which I am taking out, which is not so difficult to find out now. This 30 can come in only one way. What is that way? 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2. If you add all these 4, this is 30. 16 plus 8, 24, plus 4, 28 and plus 2, 30. Means exactly these four bags are of 11 gram because these are the 30 balls which must be contributing to the excess weight which is 30 gram. And therefore, the answer is bag number 2, bag number 3, bag number 4, and bag number 5 are 11 gram bags, and the remaining all bags are of 10 gram. So, I'm sure you understood. I just have to look at the difference in the reading. And whatever the difference is, I need to go back, I need to find out how can that difference be generated from these balls. And there is exactly one unique combination for that. That combination are all bag numbers which are of 11 gram level and the remaining are of 10 gram level. And I, I think I have been trying to make myself very clear. Still, if any time if you have any queries, any explanation, you can always email it to me. I'll get back to you on a personal basis. Uh, puzzle number 4. Thank you so much friends.